So we're down here on site in Fish Creek, South Gippsland. The particular site that we're working with is regrowth from the original clearing, you know, probably pre-1900s clearing. So we've got about up to five hectares to reintroduce fire into the environment for ecological purposes, but also for fire prevention purposes. There are a number of properties which would certainly benefit from some fire prevention work, as much as the environment we hope will benefit from some of our fire ecology work. Because we've been working on this since 2011, uh, and we're hoping to get more work done this year. And ultimately, introduce fire into this environment with the benefit and commitment to continue ecological monitoring into the future. So it's not just a point in time, piece of work that we're doing, we're looking at a, a, a long-term investment and partnership to get some genuine learnings out of, out of this year's investment. This very yeah, sharp. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it creeps over other things. It's really important that agencies maintain the ability to continue that engagement process, that we're able to continuously uh, talk to um, agencies, to the community, to committees um, so that we can actually continue the work we do. I've seen projects that are funded short term, they come into a community, they do a bunch of work, they seem to build a lot of relationship and do a lot of talking and engagement and then they're gone. I don't leave the property if it's a hot day, um, but if... So, the impetus that it's built, the trust and relationship that's built is lost and it makes it harder for the next person that comes in. They've got to start from scratch again and build those relationships again and that's harder because you're dealing with a damaged, potentially damaged relationship in the start. So demonstrating the value of community engagement can be hard because it is intangible and when, you know, if you get a new manager in uh, who's looking at your work program and they go, well, Dale, why are you spending all this time going out and just talking to people? Where's the value in that for the organisation? It can be hard to demonstrate. It's a little bit easier in the local government context because we, we, we're a service area that expects to put community focused. So if we're getting feedback from the community that says we're happy with the engagement, and then that's generally enough. But you want to be funded. And in, in fact, you don't want to be just funded, you want to get more funding. So part of it is just the really obvious taking photos, taking footage, showing that you're actually delivering. Part of it's about the monitoring, the measuring, but it's, it's a hard story to sell in the fire space because you can show an immediate effect and say, yes, there's been an immediate um, reduction, but how does that correlate to people with the environment consideration? Because they want to see something specifically measured. And they, more to the point, they want to see, make sure that values aren't lost. So usually the investment with the environment kind of community is really about talking to the science and the knowns about how we're going to protect things of value and the location of those. So it might require a lot more sort of um, mapping and, and follow-up monitoring. And it might be very species specific. What does that time frame look like? Does it feel really slow for no reason or for some reason? <laughs> So John, this is my answer will be partly a question for John. <laughs> um, but when we for engagement practitioners in this space, um, think about your internal engagement processes for, for various agencies as much as you would think about the community and industry engagement. For us, you know, it's very important that um, we work within the, the direction of our strategic plans within, within CFA and within the landscape and land management objectives of the government of the day. Um, and we can then ensure that you know, we are working uh, in sync and in harmony with what we are trying to achieve for the community, for the state and for the agency. That helps us then maintain that internal relationship and business relationship. Um, in this instance, many, many years um, we've been trying to achieve this. So we've got to stay engaged got to make sure that um, we, you know, we've got the opportunity to invest when the time's right and where it's right. And the same thing can be said for the engagement with, with other networks, continually engage with other agencies, local governments, uh, ensure that everyone understands what the challenges are and what the objectives are and that we will get there um, if we do work together.